I'd like to welcome you all to Girl Geeks tonight. It's really quite inspirational to be in a room full of women for a change. I've been blown away and I actually feel like I could easily be sitting in the audience <laughs> right now learning from all of you. For the most part, women talk about their successful careers as happy coincidences. And men talk about their careers as movement towards specific goals which they've had in mind since they were but my dad was an engineer and uh, he sat me down and he's like listen love I love you but I'd never hire you and I'd never hire a female engineer and um, I decided to uh, to rebel against him and do a degree in electronic engineering do something every day that that makes you feel happy find happiness in simple things and when you get bored or frustrated or have a bad management structure it's like a motorway just Move out, overtake. I was also a little bit worried because um, I wasn't sure if I, uh, if I quite met the definition of a geek. Uh, but you can, um, you can decide for yourself. And one of the problems um, for academics is the connection to other uh, fields, uh, the industry and business and um, all these kinds of things. So essentially what happened to me was, I was a programmer, I got all the way to the top of the game, and I hated it, right, because you're part social worker, you're part babysitter, you're part psychologist, right, I'm like, I just want to code. So every minute, 500,000 pieces of content are shared on Facebook, 70,000 bit.ly links are clicked, 25,000 messages are created on Twitter, 1,000 blog posts go live, 20 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. I suppose if there's one message to take away from tonight and that I want you to take away, it's that it's way more accessible than you think. And you uh, should go for it and do it and start it immediately. As I said, we started with big ambitions. We didn't actually know how we were going to achieve them, but we really, really like to join.